Welcome back to the Cat Lady! This is gonna be part six. Like if it wasn't enough, but I killed Dr. X. Yeah, we were able to get rid of him. That actually worked out pretty well. That felt good. It's getting late. I want to see them tonight. This game's really weird thus far. That's for sure. Really weird. Sorry about the abrupt cut off on the last episode. I thought the game messed up and just like Standing force closed river, out of it. I close my eyes. One jump and I'm there. Hmm. What is she trying to do? No. Someone jumped after me. What? He will never be my friend. That's always pays a visit when I play the piano. It's really late, but do I really care? Let's play. Not now. I'll get some food. I right, got food. Eat it. Wait, am I getting food for me or for the cats? Get this. Uh, have to put this in the oven? Okay, okay, that's how it works. I have 60 seconds. If anything past that will burn the crap out of it, it will be a freaking molten lava. Eat it. What is she doing? That's not how you eat. I don't even see anything they ain't eating. Summon the cats. We're gonna do a summoning. Turn the light off. <laughs> Unleash the kitties. Do it. Do it now! What the crap? Is it just the one? Come inside, my darlings. I've missed you. Well, it's three of them. And who's that? Teacup. I bet you thought you'd never see me again. I don't know which one's take up. Well, make yourselves at home. Dinner is ready to be served. Freaking out. Uh, here we go. Come on, everybody. Gather around. Get your dinner, you little bastards! These are my cats. I always put food after them once they're here. Now what? Oh, this is a teacup. You never eat my food, teacup. Wait. Already had your dinner, have you? Your food's shit. It's garbage. No, I get it. I know. You're a good friend. The best friend I have, really. The only friend in the whole fucking world. You come over to keep me company and want nothing in return. That's I appreciate sad. it. You should know. If you could know what I've been through lately. I've been to hell and back, my boy. But I'm here now. In my flat. Alive. And it's still the same mess that it's always been. I'm not sure how to deal with all this anymore. Don't know if I can. You need someone to talk to, an actual person, I an wish actual I could friend. Be like you, at peace with the world, always smiling. Someone's at the door, but who could it be so late at night? Hopefully, it's nothing bad. Is 
Turn the light on. Who are you? It's about the piano. Are you out of your mind? Do you know what time it is? We've all had it with you and your bloody cats. Did you change the tone right now? I'm sorry, I didn't need to disturb anyone. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb anyone. Some of us have to get up early for work. You think it's okay to make noise at this time of the night? Settle oh, down! On. Don't exaggerate. I did play the piano, but only for a minute or two. Enough to wake me up! And this is not the first time either! If this happens again, you'll see pest control stepping in, and it won't be pretty! What an asshole! <laughs> Scrap! Get lost, you bald, ugly man. I'm done talking to you. What? How dare you? This is going to stop, one way or the other, you crazy cat lady. Yeah, I don't if this happens care. again, you'll see pest control stepping in, and it won't be pretty. Hell, I'll poison your fucking cats myself if I have to. What the fuck is wrong with you? Me again, and I will break it. I'm done talking to you. Go fuck yourself. I tried to be nice about it, but he didn't let me do that. What? In my head it's like hell And I don't feel I've got the way In my head it's okay Um Apparently she went over the edge and completely lost it. I didn't know. Was it because I... Was it because I was mean to him? Or what? I don't know. Am I gonna kill myself because of this? I don't, I don't know. So I'm not controlling any of this. Settle down! It's gonna be okay! I don't feel good about this. It's your problem, kitty. What? Standing by the river, I'm thinking. Will I jump again? No. Good, don't. Behind the closed doors, I have fallen in love with the razor. What? <sighs> What's gonna happen now? Where is this? Is this at home? No, it's a road! <laughs> I couldn't tell.
What is this? I don't think this is the apartment. Who is this and who is that? Is she okay? I've slept all night and most of the day. Why am I still feeling tired? Someone's at the door. I really hope it's not him again. Hmm. Is this gonna be that guy we just saw in the cutscene or what? No, who's this? Hello, Miss Ashworth. How are you? Are you feeling better? Do I know you? Yeah, who are you? Of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt. Uh, I don't know who that is. Met a few days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had were real good. Probably had one too many, mind you. Oh, she's the one that called in about the suicide and got me taken to the hospital. Or I died again. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up The one that later. pretended to be my sister. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. I'll understand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but I had other reasons for it too. Personal reasons. It's important. It's important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. Hmm. Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. Yeah, you don't I saw even the know idea me. put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. I do? I... They still print that? It was months ago. Nobody ever called. I forgot all about it. I well, that explains it. Actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. But... You've got the room and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? Well, yeah, it's good to have someone I'm in the house if you just go freaking crazy. I don't make much noise and... I promise not to spend you long in the bathroom in the morning. I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry. But I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. What do you think? Do we have a deal? I think it'd be very good for her. Do I get to decide? I guess I could do with some extra money, but... Great! Can I come in? I guess that's it. Mm. I'll say this. How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked so the door. I kicked the fucker in! I okay, gave it a... I'll tell you. I gave it a duty like job. Probably, but I'll tell you. Lock. You did what? It's impressive. I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff too. But why'd you pick lock. the lock? Got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lock picks in it. They're very expensive. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. Why'd you pick the lock, though? I see. But, you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. It's not important anymore. I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? 
I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. The noise they made. It was incredible. Like ghosts howling. Then for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and got the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. Hmm. A hunch. Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? Oh, it worked out. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? Well, it made things I easier. I trust you. Like, I broke into this chick's house and she's I knocked out. Right and that wouldn't have worked out too well. Jesus, what's wrong with you? Slit your throat? Are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do such a thing, I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just yeah, that was a stupid a question. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. And I wanted to see if you'd made it. I don't think that's gonna work. This spare room I have is pretty bad. That's a day. I'm not fussy. Do you know how crazy it that sounds? Long anyway. It's true, Just a but few weeks, still. maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I slept at the train station last night. There's a guy there who docks rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Hmm. Why not go to a hotel, then? I hate hotels. More than train stations. With homeless weirdos and rats. What kind of hotels did she go to? Oh, no, he's cool. He's all right. And he kept the rats away. Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it. This flat's falling apart. It's cold. It's dark. It's a bit moldy. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going through here. And that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. Uh, not that's a bit exactly much. great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People? Just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. Hmm. You think they'll smell the rats on me? I need to shower. Hmm. I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I love to see it. And I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck, and it doesn't shut properly. It's alright. I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I I'll like shit. Out. It's got a funny smell. I like funny smells. There's some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. Fine. I give up. Follow me. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Stay close to me! The rat will get you! Cats have been lazy sons of bitches! It's right here! Teddy will protect you from the evils of the world! Really? Teddy! Get on your patrol! Do it now! Step to the side, that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. Use the teddy! All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to calm me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and someone to watch too. You got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Hmm. You little sunk out there? You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, all right. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person, but it's a friend of a friend. Maybe Detective Teddy can help you out. He has great references. I don't know what he looks like. I love this lamp. Does it work? 
Only one way to find out. out. Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. Hmm. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here all together. He's in one of them, and I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. Huh. What do you want from this person? I just want to talk to him. He said something... really bad. Something horrible. I need to talk to him. Seems to be closure, what you know? this game's about. Horrible shit. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. Is there anyone I can contact? For references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so not really. Mm. I've lived with my mum all my life. Till recently, that is. What happened? I could give her a call. Oh, that would be a perfect spot for my post up there. Um, yeah, sh sure, that would be okay. Guys and the questions. You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? Well, it's hard to I tell. I know. What do serial murderers look exactly. like? Exactly! A scar across the face, an eye patch, a rough stubble. Those sort of things, I guess. I don't know what That's a like. pirate you've just described. Just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. Arr. Who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not yet, anyway. Are you a part of that emo subculture? Please don't say that word ever again. No, no, this is just how I dress. I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that emo crap. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. Hmm. Okay. Clearly a sensitive Touchy. subject for you. You know, people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're called for emo. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I agree. I dress in black too. Of course. That's because black is the best color. Period. You know, you've been asking me all these questions and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. You barely survived. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this. But I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. People what kept asking me questions. It got to me. What did you feel? No offense, but I don't really want to talk about it. Fair enough. Maybe when you know me better, we will feel more like sharing. I feel that's good. I'm a good listener, you know. We just may Let's don't want go to go into that right room. away, but soon it should happen. It helps to talk about it. Room's great. So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? What? I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. Miss Ashworth? What happened? Are you alright? What? Go away! You have to go away right now. But why? Miss Ashworth, what's wrong? You're not safe here. You should leave. Now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible's gonna happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. I have... I... Just stay away from me. What? Are you deaf? Did I not make myself clear? This is not a good place for you. Where am I gonna go? It's late and, and it's pouring down with rain. I don't give a damn where you go. You can go back to the bloody train station for all I care. Anywhere. Anywhere but here. I knew you were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? 
Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. Calm down. I'm not gonna do anything to you, alright? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble, okay? Just take a deep breath. Please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. Then... Maybe... Oh, no. 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 You're going to die. I know. What? <clears throat> yeah. I know. Huh? But how did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Do you possess some kind of supernatural mind-treating abilities? Or is it just so fucking obvious? What do you mean? I... I don't know how you're going to die. But call it a hunch, if you like. That's cool. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. It's already started, as a matter of fact. Do you want to see? I'll show you. Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. Cancer? What is this? Did I miss something? It's time to wake up, my little pussy cat. <laughs> What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream. Uh, do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. What, what is going say? on here? Shall I How did I get here? What? This pussy of yours. You're a dead man. You just don't know it yet. Like in Shiro from like Fist of the North Star. And what you bleed to death. I'll feed your body to the crows. Oh, you're gonna regret this, pal. What's going on in there? What the fuck was that? What the? Who was this? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? What the hell is that? Cause if you did, I swear to God. Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. Wasn't she like 80? This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. For what? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. Okay, okay. I was just saying, uh, she, she's here for dinner. Good. Dinner. I'm starving. Cannibals? And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats. I don't get them. She's old as shit. I'm confused. What? You nasty little whore. Trying to seduce my husband in my own home. Yeah, I'm all over Bloody him. Room. All over him, you can see it. Who the fuck are you? 
Shut up! You trying to be nice it. obviously won't do shit, so it's pointless. I know what you're up to. You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? Well, I've got just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. You won't need these eyes and this face much longer anyway. Yeah. will do it right if you don't do it yourself. See this poor bleach in her face? Wait, I'm the cat? Go ahead and save this. Oh, I need a name. Uh... Next? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here. We're really getting into things. I have no idea how I got here though. Um. Anyway, if you like this episode, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya!